Well, I'm still here in the Caribbean. I'm flying home tonight, actually, but uh, rather than crawling out the forecastle of some yacht, which is what would normally be happening when I'm over here at the Antigua Classics Regatta, I'm actually staying in a rather nice hotel on the windward side of the island. I've been the guest of the uh, organisers and, uh, oh, well, I've been treating myself proud, really. I'm at Nonsuch Bay Resort, which is, uh, well, a lovely place to be. Food's good, the staff are incredibly friendly and uh, it's just been really nice actually that when the, when the sailing's over and all the madness and the parties and the rum drinking and the fun and seeing old shipmates from years ago, just to get in the car, trickle over here and chill out. It's been great and if ever you fancy a chill out in the Caribbean you couldn't do any better than Nonsuch Bay. Anyway, I promised that I would show you some pictures of the boats because the last video we posted was about judging the concourse at this Antigua Classics regatta. Um, it went down well, people enjoyed the video and it was all very interesting, but the point was loads of people wrote back and said, well look, this is all fine Tom, but how about showing us some pictures of the boats? So that's what I'm going to do now. Um, we're not professional filmmakers, there's lots better stuff out there than us, but this is just between you and, and us. It's a, it's a little family thing really on my video tube. We've knocked together what clips we can from the parade of sail. The sound's awful because there's a lot of wind blowing, the old trade wind's kicking in and Ros is doing her best to knock it out but she can't really and I couldn't be mic'd up because I had to do the commentary. So just ignore the sound and just enjoy the boats. I've popped a few stills in as well to, to do what we can. They're only clips and well <laughs> enjoy it for what it is. It comes with our very best wishes to the sailors of the world. And march on, cruise out, slow and stately, entering the harbour, comes Columbia. She's taking her time, and quite right too. If she had her sails up, the sky would be going dark right now, but she has got the most massive of reefs. She's one of the few examples of float today, of one of the truly great working vessels of all time. The New England Nova Scotia fishing schooner. These vessels took the world by storm in their day. Columbia has been recently built by her owner's shipyard, Brian Desernia, Eastern Shipbuilding Group. It's a, a piece of absolute vision to rebuild this boat so we can see it. And those of us who saw her out on the water yesterday and saw that noble bow lifting to those big seas and coming crashing down, sweeping them aside as though they were nothing, ripples on a pond. It was an amazing, remarkable sight. And to think that these vessels went out to the Grand Banks and stayed there for weeks, anchored, while the men went out in the dories to catch the cod, to bring them home, to feed the Catholic world on a Friday. <laughs> Here she comes. Columbia. There's really very little like her afloat today. The boys were a bit wet when they came in, but who cares? Chanley. Here comes, here comes a treat. Everyone who loves and admires the great yachts from the Clyde in Scotland. This is Mariella, 79 feet of it. Designed by Alfred Milne and built by the great William Pike. 
last year she was the overall winner at Falmouth Classic. And before that she'd been seriously knocked about by Hurricane Gonzalo. And she was taken to Italy well repaired. And in case anyone doubted if they'd done a good job, she just went and circumnavigated the globe. And if that wasn't enough, she did it again. And again. And she picked up trophies in the Pacific and the Atlantic. And then she went and showed them how to do it down in the Mediterranean. Take a look at this. This is America for some. After three of the world's finest yachts, something completely different, ladies and gentlemen. You're only going to get this at Antigua Classics. Nowhere else in the world will you see this. Coming in now, we have three carrier coup sloops. The real thing, built on the beach. First up is Genesis, owned by Alexis Andrews and designed and built by Eno. On the beach and carrier coup. Star of the movie Vanishing Sail, which you can see tonight at Carrier Coup Corner at 20 hundred hours. That's eight o'clock for landsmen. Followed by Zemi. Competition. You knew you were in the position of sailor man. You really saw the joke. Tonight, on board Vendia, the lovely Nicole, who we just saw going out on Marjong upside down, that's her, not Marjong, will be performing in the rigging. And that's proper traditional rigging, nothing better for a girl like that to show us her skills. So here's Bendia, what a proper vessel. A uh, fine body of men out there on the bowsprit too. Oh, and a lady as well, yes. Yeah, these are people you're not going to mess about with, and a vessel you'll not mess about with either. Proper job. <laughs> 